everybody. Good morning. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Let's light a candle before we get started, shall we? Oh, today I'm going to light this candle to remind me to stay grateful. I, I strongly believe that the energy that we create by a sincere feeling of gratitude is so healthy and it actually brings abundance. And I'm grateful for many, many things. So I'm going to take a breath and bring in that gratitude. And as I see the flame throughout our video, it's going to remind me to stay grateful. Let's take a breath. Okay. Oh, y'all. Okay. It was all I could do to go downstairs and leave this alone. I wanted to just keep going, but I had, it had to dry. A lot of right things going on. The buckle, I think, is going to be just perfect. I love the cover. I think everything is really going to stay stuck. After we all got done with each other yesterday, I went ahead and put glossy accents on these. Now I want to just go through them and actually that's not bad. So I think that one's okay. And, oh, I forgot. This is um, a kit, this I'll have to do something with, by, oh, I cracked it. Can you see that? I bent it and I cracked it. I don't think I really care about that. I might, I might go ahead and put some more glossy accents on it and see if I can heal that up. Um, this is through Art Impressions and it is called the Journal die set and it is a couple years old mine isn't I think I got it a few months back and I, I must have seen somebody playing with it because I don't know how else I would have tripped across it but you get all the dies you need to make the book and embellish the book and of course you can add you know whatever else you want but I, I I've got to put these on yeah that's got to happen let's see if I can trim this up just a little bit more let's see if they're gonna fit before I start gluing Okay, and it goes A, and I would be okay if it stuck up like that. C, W. Yes, it's going to fit perfectly. Now, but if I do that right now, I I don't think I'm going to go do that right now. I want to put these in because I don't want that to be drying with glue and have me messing around with the book. And there's still two pages, so there's still this center page and this. And I'd kind of like to do something special with that. Now these are two by three, which is exactly the size 
of the Bluetooth printer that's going to go along with this as my gift to this precious little baby. Oh no. Oh, bummer. Okay, so. Yeah, there's no way. But it probably will go. Well, it's going to have to be cut down. I worried about that with these frames because when you push them down, then, you know, the glue, just a tiny bit more, the glue squeezes out and it just leaves you less surface. I want it sticking out the top so it's really clear where where the photo goes. Let's take this one out. I worried about these too. Let's see if I nailed it. Ooh, it's pretty, pretty tight, but it works. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about these frames. I may have to... Huh. I'm not sure what to do, actually. Maybe put a frame on top of it? So close. This one's going to be a bear to get anything in and out of. I think this should probably have been a like a decorative piece that really didn't hold anything. Or go ahead and put the you know paper on the back. Hmm. So these frames just are not going to hold a 2 by 3 if you glue them down like I did. Now if you glued just around here, they definitely would. probably to do this again I would put these further apart because they don't need to cover the whole corner and you just lessen the chances that they're not going to fit all right so there we go I don't know if I'm going to replace those or not what I would do is just put it right on top and there are one Two, three of them. So what are we going to do with this? I have these two pages left.
I like that. Oh, I like this one too. It's the back side. I like that one better. Celeste, do you have the garden in yet? What did you plant? What did you plant? You have 20 acres. When we had our farm, we had 30 acres. We had 10 of it in hay. And then about, hmm, I don't know, three, we had one, we had two big pastures that we rotated animals through, and then we had a big uh, two-story barn, just like you see, you know, great big with uh, loafing sheds on either side, and then paddocks outside of those and a round pan and then we had a cement foaling barn calving barn and then we had two silos and a small Doug turned it into a shop I guess it was probably a shop before of, of sorts fixing machinery and stuff for the farm. And then there was an old windmill, and next to that was a little, oh, wasn't very big, it was like, maybe like 20 by 10 or something, where they used to store coal. In fact, when we bought the farm, that's what it was heated with, was coal. It had a heater in the kitchen and a heater in the living room. Boy, was that a learning curve. Oh, I forgot this one. It blends right in. Now this, I don't know what to do with that. I kind of want to put... Hmm. I kind of want to put paper in here, but... Let's look at the ephemera, the die cuts that come with the kit. There's these, and I, I really would like to use those. That is so cute. This is a banner that you bend right, right here. And... Right here. Let's see, I think it's supposed to go the other way. Bent right there, and then right there. And it kind of pops up. So this bends right here, and that bends right there. Isn't that cute? All right, and then we have tags, of course, and more corner pieces. Now, 
I don't remember. Yeah, no, those those are the ones we actually cut. So I don't. I did watch videos and I found out this is not a frame. It's an easel. But I have no idea how to use it. I couldn't see that anybody else did either. So art impressions, if you're watching, I think that was a bust. Let's see. I haven't used the lock. There's an envelope that I think is just so adorable. Look at that. Oh, is that cute or what? Jeez, I just almost knocked my whole cup of coffee off. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll put that somewhere for sure. More corners. That's a, another lock. A button, which that can go somewhere. Those are the window panes. Can you see what I'm doing? Then we still have the key. Where's my pickup stick things? Where are you? Here you go. I would like to do something with the lock and the key. For sure. And probably the button for sure. That looks cute on that. Here's a little edging. That looks cute right there. Here's another edge. Needs to be trimmed. Maybe that could go over here. I think that's cute. Let's do that. That's perfect.
Gonna put it off the edge just slightly. Just barely. Whoop. Yeah, while we were at the farm, we took the turnout area that was just outside the back door of the barn, and we made a big full-size arena. And I used that to train horses, and well, that sounds that sounds much more than it really was. One of our mares had a foal, and I did just do groundwork with him. And then I had a mare who was a raunchy, you know what, and I used the round pen in the arena with her. We had a lot of fun. Well, I had a lot of fun. For Doug, it was a lot of work. I really wanted to use this. I could see a picture of the baby's feet. Tiny toes. I wonder if I could fit it. Like put this here, put that on here. Yeah, let's do it. And then just leave this blank for them to either put a picture on or write a note or whatever they want to do. I think I like it like that. I don't know how it's supposed to go, but I like it like that. We had a chicken coop, and on the other side of the chicken coop, it was one building. One side was chickens, and on the other side, uh, the sheep would go in there. And when they had babies, I would put mom and baby in there because it had a screened window, and they could see right out over the pasture at all the other sheep, so they didn't feel lonesome. They knew right where the flock was. Oh. Okay, now this one. Okay, I do like that. It's got to glue. It's got to dry. So how that, how's that going to happen? All right, let's glue this. And what am I going to put in here? This would be a cute little envelope to put baby's umbilical cord when it dries up and falls off. Did you guys save your children's umbilical cords? Put in here. 
I thought about putting like a coin with her year, birth year on there. You know, go to the bank and get a shiny dime or something. But I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's a thing. That used to be a thing. Come on, glue. Jeez. Okay, well, fine. There. That'll fix your wagon. I wonder if my glue is watered down. Um, let's see. There's these, but I don't have a small or anything to put them on. I do have the... This is the frame that they go around, or that goes around them. Mm. I don't know what to do with that. Here is, where's my pickup? Here's a cute tag. I think I need some twine. Then I'm going to resist the urge to use actual twine. I'm going to use, let's see. Um, It's a little thick. And then I have this stuff. Hmm. It might be too frayed. Now what? I think I'll just tie a bow. She says knowing that she really probably can't tie a bow, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here the bleep we go. She's on a bow tying mission, folks. Oh my gosh, I did it. Okay.
I was watching um, Jill Norwood, and she was saying to get her tails and her bow to lay down. Let's see if I remember right. She said, pull on the bow really, really tight. And then put the tails, I think that's what she said. Apparently I'm not a very good student. That would look cute right there. Or there. Let's put it right there. And if they want to put like a date or something. Okay, let's make a button. Where's the middle? Mm. Let's see. I don't I don't want I don't want those though. There's another tag. And one of these. That would look really pretty right there. Okay, I'm not gonna use those. And I don't think I'll use any of the, more of the corners. They were awesome, but I don't think I'll use any more of those. And here's another, I really don't know what it is. Some kind of a circle. It's cute. These are just in cuts. That's a little teeny tiny banner. Not sure what to do with that, and this heart is precious. So I think we need to use that. And I would like to use this key something somehow. And there's another little lock and the key to the big lock and a star. Oops. And another key. Those are scraps. That's a corner I'm not going to use. Oh, here's something cute. another banner. Okay. Let's put the heart somewhere. Okay, now let's put this button somewhere. I am not even going to try to thread it. We're going to fake it.
Let's see, we're going to put it right there. There's glue, wet glue on it. Let's see if I can get a bow made fast enough. Well, I'm on a roll. Oh, that's what it was. You have to pull down like that really hard. Hold on, somebody's here. They know the drill. I don't need to go help them. Okay. So we're going to take... I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. That's cute. I'm sure that almost anybody could do better, but that's cute. Okay, let's since this is dimensional, let's just put something else dimensional on here. Okay. Eeks. Um, I really like the idea of these. Where did I put the other one? Yeah. Let's do one more. Let's do gold. Okay. In case they want to put a picture here, I'll I'll just push it way up at the top. It's not quite in the center. That looks fine. This page needs something for sure. 
Let's see what I've got here. Those are corners. I don't want those. Um... Hmm. I like this one. Maybe like right here. But I'm wondering if I could use one of these behind it. No. Uh, uh, no. That's a, that's a big, uh, no. Huh. Well. What about just this? Huh. It's not coming to me. That's pretty. That looks great. It's just a little medallion. But looks great. Just something pretty. Okay, flower goes like that. That's cute. I think I might go ahead and cut some more frames and just put them on top of this and then redo this. I just don't care that they have to, I don't like that they have to cut the photo down so much. And that's quite a bit. So I think I'll change that. This needs something. And if I were to put this here with just plain white paper maybe, or this doesn't look quite big enough. Oh, barely. Hmm. It's big enough for a date. Yeah, I think I'll do it.
have to let that sit for a second. Let's put this circle somewhere. I'm going to redo that frame, I think, so I don't think I want to put it there. That is going to go here. I think that's enough for that page. That's got a ruffle. That one has a button. That's too pretty to cover up. That doesn't match at all. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if it's dry enough for me to cut. We have quite a few things going on in our little town. We have Revive at 5 on Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday evenings, where they have a band downtown, Old Town, and uh, last year they finished the project they'd been working on. It's called Lookout Point, and... Um, it's a beautiful place. It's like a park, sort of, but there's pavement. There's toys for the kids, like jungle gyms and stuff. That's where we have our farmer's market. And that's where they have Live at Five, and you just bring your lawn chairs and listen to music, and they have um, food. Um, whoop. And then on Monday nights, well, I put it right back down the same place. Monday nights they have truck wars which is the food truck wars. So all the food trucks come down and go down there and eat and hang out and they will have music too. That could use something. Just a little something. And on Saturday, of course, we have Farmer's Market. That's very popular. What else goes on? Oh, we have a place called the Wellness um, Center, and it it's several acres, and they there's a big pond. Um, that's where I went last year to try paddleboarding. Oh, yeah. Doug asked me if my paddleboard was in for sale. I said no. I haven't totally given up yet even though I was flat in bed for a week after I just sat on the thing.
but they just loaded it with fresh trout and so this Saturday is free fishing. And then they have a big pavilion and I think this would look great right here, but I'm going to replace that. So, and I'm going to replace this. Hmm. I don't know if I can. Well, yeah, we'll put it right there. Let's see what else. Oh, on the first Friday of every month. We have First Friday Art Walk, and all the businesses downtown open their doors, and there's several restaurants and bars and boutiques and stuff, and people go in and show their art. Um, what does that look like there? Hmm. That might be okay. Pottery and painting and there's a gal here in town that makes journals. I think the spinners go down there. I can't, I don't know. It seems like they do, but I don't know if I've ever seen them. And there, you know, the bars open up their doors so you can hear all the music. It's fun. Our town is not very big. I don't like that there. would look really sweet right here but Hmm. I think I'll have to wait. I don't care for the way those look. I want to put this somewhere. Well, I think I need, I'm trying too hard. Let's get the let's get the letters on. Okay, so should close like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this goes in here. Then let's put the letters on. And I am going to use Fabri-Tac because I trust it. And I can still fix the one that I cracked by propping the book up. So, come here.
I'm trying to get them all on here because I don't want to run out of room. If I can just get in place, then I can press down on everything all at once. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. So, while we're waiting for glue to dry, what do you want to talk about? Angela, if we had a strawberry festival like you guys do, I would be all over that. We do have a lavender festival in a little town called Lava Hot, or no, let's see, it's in actually in Incom, which is about oh, five minutes from me. It's just a little, little spot in the road, really. Um, and that's coming up, I think, in June, July? I think it's in July. And I will go to that. I don't know what to do with the key and the lock. I don't know if there's a way I can put anything heavy on this. still still movable this middle one is the one that I cracked and it actually doesn't look that bad so Saturday I won't have time to film anything but Sunday I will oh how cute how cute is that? Oh my god, that's cute. Uh-oh. My Fabri-Tac is oozing out everywhere. Let's put a lid on it. And I'm hoping that Doug and I get to go for a motorcycle ride. He's been cut loose by the doctor. So, and he's ridden his bike a couple times just real quick around town to get the oil warm so he can change it. You guys see? If it lays flat, it's definitely gonna be better. Just fast forward through this part or whatever. Oh yeah, that's gonna be cute. It's pretty stuck. Okay, so let's play with, I don't know what to do with this. I 
I know I want to double them up so that they're, well, I could do that, I guess, because I know I want to do that so they're stronger. Should I hang them with a string? With a sparkly string, maybe? not going to be glued down so let's put it back to back so that you can so it's pretty on both sides okay ah oh, Jiminy I believe that now let's do this one Oh, these aren't going to work because they're not mirror Im they're mirror images of each other huh okay well I'll have to do another one of this unless I glue it down. The cover's my favorite part. So I don't know what to do with this. I could cut it and put it through right there. I could just glue it and it would be kind of just right there. I could tie it, dangle. That looks like what I should do maybe, huh? Let's just tie it on there. I think so. Let's use sparkle. But I really want to tie the key. You know, and since I don't have the die already cut for that, let's just marker it. How's that?
Yeah, that'll be cute. Okay, where's my string? <laughs> could put it right there right here let's look and see what it looks like so it would either hang right here or it would hang right here I think I like it on the front. Not sure why. Well, I may change my mind because I might not be able to get it into the front, but we'll see. Gosh, I don't know what I just did. I don't know if I tied a bow or not or what. Oh gosh. I don't know how a cute little tiny sparkly bow could kick my butt so hard, but. Oh, it's personal now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jill! <laughs> Hell, <laughs> Mr. Wizard! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably ought to tie it in a double bow, but I don't want to push my luck. So, that looks dorky. I don't like it. Hmm.
Hmm. I don't know. Got to live with that for a minute. I think gluing this down to this was a good idea. These feel solid. I like this hanging over business. Y'all, I think it's adorable. I don't know if I did the kit justice, but it was fun. All right, guys, I think that's the book. I am gonna redo those frames, but um, this is it. This is what we ended up with. I hope you think it's adorable, I do. Super cute. And it is one, two, three and a half by one, two, three, four and a half. Three and a half by four and a half. And it is without pictures in it. It's an inch in depth. So that's the baby book. There you go. Thank you to Art Impressions for making the dies. It's called the journal die set, I think is the is the correct name. All kinds of videos out there, much better than mine, showing you all the kind of ways you can use the die set. It is really cute. The buckle is an add-on. And I got that because I thought that would be really cute during Christmas. I don't know why, but I just figured it would be really cute during Christmas okay guys now I'm gonna clean up my room I'm not gonna do my haul show uh, my haul video until I, my room is clean I told myself you cannot play with that you can't open one more thing till your room is clean so I'm gonna be obedient and take care of my room I do like the way that dangles that's cute but I might change this because I'm not sure I love that it's kind of everywhere almost looks like maybe a chain might work or something I don't know so cute the dots were a great idea I love them they're kind of just in the background so they don't look really cheesy definitely looks like a homemade book but it is a homemade book made with love lots of love all right that is my baby book y'all thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i appreciate the time that you spend watching my channel my hours have gone up so something's going on i'm not sure what let's all take care of each other bye